Hello and welcome to our folk music program here on Manx Radio. I'm John Kneen. <laughs> Tonight I'll be talking to Pedder Cobbley, the local musician, about a young harp player from Ireland who'll be here on the Isle of Man in ten days' time. Friday the 25th of September, that's uh, a week next Friday, this, a week this coming Friday, there's to be a, a prize-winning young Irish harpist on the Isle of Man to give a concert and several workshops. Her visit is being organised by the local group Mactullach Bannin, specifically Pedda Cobbley, who I invited to talk, tell me about the event. But first, here's Fiona Nicholo, playing the harp first, the air Easter snow, a favourite of the Piper Seamus Innes, that tune, I think, then the Gaelic club. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, with me, I have Pedicobbly of Mactulloch then in the north of the island uh, cultural organisation, I suppose you'd call it. Pedder, is it? <laughs> well, we've been based in the north north uh, ever since our conception back in the 80s, John, mm. so yeah. Yes, and even, even David Collister, he's moving to Kirk Michael, so that's nearly north. Oh, nearly north, yes. Now, you've got something exciting coming up, haven't you? Well, I hope it's going to be exciting, what John. Is it? Yes, I've got a, a young um, visiting Irish musician coming over, a young harper, who's very, very talented, uh, a, a great teacher. She's good to compose music. And uh, out of a just chance conversation with her there a few uh, weeks ago, um, she said she'd never been to the Isle of Man, and I thought, Q. Yes, <laughs> you yes. know, cue opportunity there to sure. sort of say, well, why don't you come over and we'll we'll do something because she does a lot of work with young musicians. She's a qualified teacher, especially for cultists. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, one thing led to another. So she's coming over. Yeah. And what's her name? Her name is Fiona Nicconnell. And there is a Manx version of that, funnily enough, would be Fina Cannell. Oh, right. You may have come across the of Manx course. name, F W -E N A, Fina. Yeah. Fina Cannell. So yeah. Connell is Cannell, is, and she uses the Irish form of it, Fina Nicannell. Oh, uh, right. And where's she from in Ireland? She's from just outside uh, the city of Limerick, a place called Castle Connell, mm -hmm. uh, a few miles outside of Limerick. And what sort of age is she? She's 25. Oh, so you're only a one, 25. Oh, right, right. And how did you come to meet her? Um, it's just sort of networking on Facebook, you oh, know, right. a friend of a friend, and mm. it only takes somebody to comment on something else, and then we ended up having a chat, and hey presto, mm. yeah, we've got a trip out of it. Good. And when's she coming? She's arriving, actually, on the 23rd of September. And the following couple of days there, uh, John, Thursday and Friday, we're actually going to do some school visits. So we're taking in three or four schools to, uh, and I'll, I'll actually go along with her and play with her. So we'll mm. kind of um, showcase, if you like, to, to the young people uh, the similarities or maybe even the differences between Manx and Irish traditional music. So that's on the Thursday and the Friday. Uh, on the Friday evening, we've got a concert in St Paul's Church in Ramsey, starting at 7.30, tickets on the door. Um, that's the 25th. That's the 25th, John, yeah, 25th. Um, and support there uh, would be Shane of Egg, one of Mike Bolton's group, yes, the, the yes. sterling work that Mike Bolton does. Of course, he's and a good man. He right? is indeed, isn't he? Yeah, where would we be without uh, exactly. Mike, that's the thing. Yes. And uh, that's, that's, that's one of the reasons when we, we have so many young harpers through Mike's encouragement. Well, you know. exactly. I was just thinking when you were, uh, sent me this information about this young lady, Fiona Nicanel, uh there seemed to be more harp players in the Isle of Man than there ever have been before. Absolutely. And there's probably more harp players, harp players than flute or fiddle players put together, to be honest. Yes. Um, and, and there's a lot of good talent among them. Mm -hmm. And that's why I thought this trip over would be great for them. Um, I mean, for all music lovers anyway and for people who love the harp but particularly during the school visits and the workshop that she's going to be doing mm. it gives those uh, a chance to connect with somebody else yeah. you know because i remember when i was young learning the tin whistle in the 70s in the isle of man there was no one else to teach me so it was a bit of a struggle of course and then the likes of um dan o'dowd who was a piper but played the whistle as well uh, michael russell mary bergen people like that mihola halloween when they were over, it was great that they would take time and mm. you know teach you a few tips, do a workshop with you, and that's invaluable. So I saw this opportunity for our young harpers to sort of, you know, I, gra I grasped it when she said, oh, "I've never been there, I wouldn't mind coming." <laughs> so right. I thought, "Will you regret that?" Well, that's I mean, that's not to say that there isn't good work going on here. I mean, um, Rachel Hare comes over every month or every every fortnight, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mm. Very talented and professional Scottish yes. harper, yes. and she does sterling work with them. So mm. this here will only complement what she's doing sure. you know and um so you've got Shane of Egg who else oh, this is on the concert on the concert St. back St. to St. the Paul's. concert yes at St Paul's Church and then we've got uh, young Amy Stout who's uh, really coming on and Mira Royal the two of them are uh, you know they're getting into their mid to late teens now and they've yes. been playing the harp for a good while and uh, so they're going to do a spot for us as well and that will be followed by Fiona 
doing her spot of half an hour, 40 minutes, whatever or so. Mm -hmm. And then there's a surprise at the end, Will. She's going to be joined by some friends to do a few sets, uh, yeah. a combination of Manx and Irish stuff together, oh, which good. she's going to chip in. Good. So we're still working on that. <laughs> right. But that, that'll be a nice treat. And, and of course, it's such a great venue. The acoustics in there are fabulous. Yes, it's nice church Absolutely, to play yeah. in. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So that's on the 25th of September at St Paul's Church in Ramsey, 7.30 kick-off? 7.30 kick-off. We don't want it to run too late. You yeah. know, we'll probably be um, wrapped up by nine-ish. And uh, what's the admission? The admission is £5 for adults and £3 for under-16s. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to keep the price down low, but um, but it would be lovely if people come along, eh, because it's going to be a good treat, and uh, we're hoping to, you know, take some money to cover costs. Oh, of course, of course. Well, that's the Friday. What's happening on the Saturday? That's the Friday. On on the Saturday, we're kicking off with uh, a food and folk session in the Mitre Hotel in Ramsey. So uh, any local musicians are uh, very welcome to bring an instrument, come along and, and uh, just join in, have a feed. And that's followed then at 2pm by uh, Fiona's doing a harp workshop. So if you have a harp, uh, she's going to cater for all uh, levels from beginners right up to advanced. She, her, her way of teaching, she tells me, is a layered way, so she doesn't want anyone to be excluded. So bring your harp along, and uh, and even if you don't have a harp and you're interested, you're welcome to come in and sit mm. in. And and again, that's a free workshop. We're not charging for that, but we probably will ask for donations if people sure. want to throw a couple of quid in the hat. Yeah, it, sure. it all helps. Uh, so that's that's the Saturday afternoon. And in the evening? In the evening, we're going to have a social night, uh, a Cayley, in Sulby Community Hall, kick-off no, 7.30. Nice, hall, nice little hall, yes, yeah, lovely. It is just right. Mm. And uh, for those um, who are worried about maybe the distance or whatever and having a drink, there, there's buses from Ramsey and from P Douglas through to Peel, you know, or via Peel. And that's all on. If you look on social media... Uh, particularly on Facebook, you'll find those events. They're, they're open to the public, those events, so you should be able to find them. Also, I think on Manx Radio's uh, site, I've put them on the community what's on. Oh, yes. So if you have a look through there, you'll find all the details. Right, so she's got uh, a fairly busy weekend then. This is from Friday the 25th when she's at St Paul's Church Hall, then Saturday she's got a workshop at the Mitre in Ramsey opposite the... Uh, the uh, the old law court uh, opposite the old courthouse yes yes and uh, then that night there's a Cayley uh, is that it for the weekend that's it other than the school visits but oh, yes, obviously course. they're not open to the public so yeah. she's here for five days oh, so, right. Uh, oh, right she wanted to she be busy she seems to be a very highly qualified young woman she is she is indeed yeah. mm -hmm. she's always on the go never it's it's nice to be young and <laughs> And enthusiastic. <laughs> enthusiastic and have the energy, isn't it? <laughs> but great, I, I didn't want to work it too hard, but she said, oh no, the, the more we can fit in, the merrier. So and is McTulloch Vannin sort of underwriting this? Or yes, we're, we're sponsoring the whole thing, really. Um, that's right, because uh, we're not doing an awful lot of playing ourselves mm. uh, very occasionally, but we still we, we haven't gone, we're yeah. still there. Yes, yes. We've got projects on the go. We're actually working on um, dance music. Uh, project at the moment where we're basically going through all the yellow book mm. for, for for one thing plus moving on to sort of there's been a lot of new tunes and dancers um, composed since the days of uh, the Slag and Tie book in the 80s so we're, we're kind of systematically going through these and re-recording if you like oh, right. in, 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 in a way that we hope is you could just stick the CD on and listen to it, and it will be okay for listening to. But obviously, it's designed to fit certain dances, mm. but, but we're arranging it in a way that it should be listenable as well. Yes. So uh, we're underway with that. We've been doing that for almost a year now. So it's uh, do a bit by bit. Yes. That, that's yeah. that's the beauty of multi-tracking. Of course, you know, yeah. which is what yeah. we're doing, and, uh, I, and and we're always looking for things like this to do anyway. Um, Sort of, we're looking at cultural exchange here as well. We're hoping to uh, take a group over mm. to Ireland, take some young harpers over there. So I mean, that, that's we've already talked about that, Fiona and I. So yes. that's that's on the on the back burner as well until we get this weekend over. Yeah. And probably after this, I know Daycall is very keen to um, get an Irish dancer over oh, and right. have a dance weekend. Yes. You know, because there's quite idea. a few people doing set dance, and as you probably know, and as the listeners probably know. Yes. Uh, he does uh, Irish set dancing um, on a Thursday night. 
generally through the winter I think mm. it's uh, summer break now but uh, yeah. so we're always looking for things like that to do John you know Good it enough. keeps us ticking over <laughs> well doesn't it just well thank you very much let me wish you well this weekend as I say it's from uh, Friday the 25th and 26th uh, that these things are available to people to go to see at St Paul's Church Hall at the Mitre and then at Solby Community Hall Harper Fiona Nicholl, who was uh, who will be on the island for the Friday concert at the uh, church in Ramsey that we were talking uh, that I was talking to Peter Cubberley about uh, on the twenty fifth. That's a week this coming Friday at St Paul's Church in Ramsey, and then she'll be at a uh, a workshop for other. Well, not only are there harp players, if you want to go along and listen to her, I'm sure you'll be made very welcome at the Mitre Hotel on the Saturday and uh, Kaylee that Saturday night. So, a busy weekend for Fiona Nichonel. And that final couple of tunes that she was playing there were the Hollybush and the Red Bee.